Texting, texting, texting. We are back. Segment two. IDD, for those of you who I don't disagree, that is the redoubtable one himself, Tom Izzo. Now, a question one, RJ Miliaccio. Um, the end of the yeah. first the yeah. end of the first quarter. Yeah. You know what happened. Yeah. Um, the end of the first quarter. Yeah. The, Fuck yeah. The fake show is up four on Denver oh, in the mile time. high. Um, earlier tonight, for those of you who are dead. Um, <laughs> For those of you who haven't been born yet. The (laughs) New York Knicks uh, snatched, I said snatched, snatched the crap out of a diaper. I thought they snatched victory out of Maxie's ass. Whatever it was. By the way, he's got a new name, Miralax Maxie. Um, Tyrese. Joel, Joel, Mm. Miralax Maxie. Because that's what that was. And that was the third of three crap fests in the fourth quarter for Maxi, who otherwise had a great game. <laughs> it was a drive by. Uh, it was. A, it was a drive by pooping. It was a drive by pooping. Drive by it pooping. Was, I mean, it was. and just I flown mean, out the tailpipe. And as we just heard in the post game press card, Nick Nurse is crying about the officials. Um, Nick. I, so Nick I Nurse clearly, said, I clearly called timeout. However, I don't know if he saw me. <laughs> so, so no. So you know what he said is that when they were trying to inbound the ball, remember when Maxi pooped himself? Yeah. He he. Looked right at the ref, timeout. Yeah. He says the ref looked directly at him. And went, no. And just <laughs> didn't give him the timeout. Are you kidding? This is too good. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I think he Fuck said. Fuck you, screwed up with a timeout. <laughs> I think then he said when ty- when when Maxie got tied up a little bit, yeah. he called another one. The guy looked at him. went, no, this is even better than the inbound. <laughs> no way. He's you think I'm going to give it to you now? No way. This is better than that one. <laughs> no. You're not getting another timeout for the rest of the night. We're going to let this play out. Dude, after after DiVincenzo hit the hit the three, I bet Nick Nurse called a timeout and the ref was like, Nope, you just gotta inbound the ball. Nope. <laughs> Actually, no, he gave him a timeout. He's, timeout. He's like, you know what? I need a timeout after that. I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> My heart's <laughs> racing. My heart's racing. I need a timeout before I can go up. You know what? You know what? Coach, Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, we all need a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else in the bathroom break? Anybody else in the bathroom break? God, go to the oh. kitchen, get yourself a oh. bite to eat. I, I think that. I think your boy Miralex Max he needs a bathroom break. <laughs> Someone needs to get into the <laughs> He needs the hazmat crew. <laughs> he needs the hazmat crew. I mean, just come in there <clears throat> and just <clears throat> the thing is ventilate. When you, when you look at Maxie's stats tomorrow, oh my god. It's it's a great game. It's a great game, but there were except three, for thirty seconds, there were three things he did in this fourth yeah. quarter. Just what are you? What happened? And like, the last one being, you know, he comes down with a chance to take the last shot. Yeah. Well, first of all, he gets blocked by Hartenstein. Yeah. I but mean, that was that was the other one to play yeah, for. When he, when he, which that wasn't, wasn't his wasn't fault. Bad. That I mean, was more hard. Yeah, made no. a great play. He made the right play. He made the right decision. The yeah, but I mean, wasn't there a chance at the? Oh, so they were up three at the end. He dribbles the ball down and passes it to Embiid, who's six feet behind the three point line. Yeah, I mean, like Maxi, this is your game. It's your game. I mean, take that. You were the best player on the floor right. for most of the night. I mean, now if you so, go to take a three and they double you, then you sure yeah, give it to you. You got to draw that double. You don't just walk up and get it. Yeah, you never did. So, but that you know, was weird. Anyway, that was really weird because he played it, awesome. Well, he did. But the thing is, this is why the this this is why the birds and the joints and the magic get ruined. Because in these moments, they never crap yeah. themselves. They were like, "This is the moment they live for." I would have been full on crap. I mean, most people would. I, I, if we're being honest, most people would. I, I mean, would have had a big hunk you know, of dung in the back of my there, shorts. A, <laughs> a big hunk of dung. The, the log, not the mess. I think it would have been a log. Yeah, the log. Fair. And it just come, it comes shooting out. You yeah. don't even realize yeah. it. The log wasn't even ready. Oh, like, whoa! What's going on here? Jeez! <laughs> Where's the water? I didn't even have a chance to yeah. push. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I would have been full uh, on crap mode. But it, it, when I see the way the crowd was, yeah. I mean, I the mean, crowd is like a nervous wreck. Yeah. Everybody's standing. Well, the, you, you try the ball. It, like it, people, it, bodies are yeah. falling all over the you place. Know where it you is. can't see where the ball is. Like who's got it? Hot potato. So you know, everybody in the crowd. It's a fuck. It spits out from the paint when two bodies go down. Then and OB gets goes. I don't want it. Throws it. Fuck <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> man. Boom! I see oh, Vincenzo. Yeah. So and, and then the big ragu with the rainbow. Bang. Bang. As Bill Raftery would say onions. It was onions. Oh my god, was. that was onions right there. Um, so the Knicks one hundred and four, uh, Sixers one hundred and one is now two. They go back to Philly for mm. Game Three. Um, you know, if, if you are the Seventy Sixers. Both your studs played either good or great in both games, and, and their best player didn't play good really in either of them. You're, you're down 0-2. Yeah. That's not 
That can't be a good feeling. No. <laughs> it can't. It can't be. A good no, like feeling. you said, your two best players yeah. played as good as they they're, are going to play. They're going to play against a very good defense, by the way, because the Knicks are one of the best defensive teams in the yeah. league. So for them both to get thirty, they worked for it because it wasn't given to them. And the thing is, it wasn't a week thirty. It either. wasn't a week. Neither one was a week thirty. <laughs> no. And the thing is, the Knicks because of their depth, okay, and 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 that <laughs> that culture that they have built, okay, Tibbs, Tibbs. The better, the better coach, um, and all the players, and yeah. So and the, and the guys they brought in that fit the mold. Fuck yeah, because that's the biggest thing. They brought in guys that fit what they want to do, mm-hmm. and that's team building one hundred and one. Yeah. So I'm not surprised they're here, and I'm not surprised Philly put up the fight. What I am surprised is that Jalen Brunson was pretty much terrible for two games for him. You know, he put up twenty something each game, but his he was off. To Tom's point, he was put. He's pressing. Yeah, he, he's yeah. pressing. And he doesn't need to thinking. Um, he's he's just he doesn't. We and look, we said this. You know, a couple weeks ago, he's got to be a facilitator because they're going to come at him. For however far the Knicks go in this thing, every team is going to double. He's going to get the ball out of his hands. Mm-hmm. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. So he has to be aware of it and not force it and let the game come to him. You know, um, I would I would like to see Thibodeau really step in here, or whoever his offensive mind is, and help him through this. Yeah, because I think they can draw up some offenses that 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 show well, him the type of facilitator you know, he can be. One of the things moments. that um, I learned watching Dennis Johnson play because I was a point guard was Dennis Johnson, especially with Bird out there. DJ wasn't the main option. DJ was the shooting guard. No, Danny Ainge was. DJ was the point guard. He was the point. Okay. What DJ would do off the ball. He literally would read what the play was, and if it was outside for Bird, he would cut to the basket. If it was inside for McHale, he would spot up in an area because they knew his guy was going to double. And he would, mm-hmm. That's how he got his offense. Yeah, But he was a facilitator. Mm-hmm. There's no reason why Jalen Brunson can't do something similar. When he gives the yeah. ball up, he can go to an open area. If it's an out, like a five-out set, then he can cut to the basket, try and get something off the ball action. Mm-hmm. He's too ball dominant right. right now. And the thing is, they have good enough guards where he doesn't have to be. Well, they're, they're huge in comparison to him. I yeah. mean, well... No, not not Maxi and uh, they've got, Lowry, but they're putting no. Ubre yep. and sometimes Tobias Harris on. Them. And this is the thing. And so Batum. if I was if I was Tibbs, okay. um, what I would be saying is I'd put the ball on the outside. I have Jalen cutting off or getting back screens to the basket to get something going action off the ball. Because mm-hmm. here's what that's going to do. Since they're keying on him anyway, that's going to pull the help to wherever he goes, yeah. which is going to leave their slashers one on one with no help. Yeah. If I'm Tibbs, I want to, cre- and that's what you got to tell Brunson. Look, we're going to use you off the ball here, and mm-hmm. if they if they help, because by the way, eventually they have to change back, and then he'll get wide open looks. Exactly, because that's the best way to do right. it. If, if he's going to continue to be ball dominant, Philly's going to just keep throwing bodies at him and trouble team. And you got to get him off the ball early and often yeah. to get him into a rhythm. He has not gotten into a rhythm in either game yet. That's the other thing. Yeah. He's got to get into a rhythm, and he doesn't have to do it with the ball. So mm-hmm. they got to work on that because they got guys that can do this. They're yeah, deep. I think he'd really get in a rhythm if he came out and he got three assists in a row. Yeah. And then, yeah. a, you know, he gives a little pass yeah. fake and he's going to be wide yeah, open. I, mean, I don't know three. what he had for assists. We said he had to get at least eight. I think he was close. Was he? Uh, I think he was close. Let me see. He has scores. He did hit some shots um, at some point in the fourth quarter. The game. Where was it? Right here. Brunson, had, Brunson was the leading scorer with 24 points, actually. Um, for the Knicks? For the Knicks, yeah. Um, where's the box score here? So here we go, box score. Um, so, yeah, I'm beat at 34, maxi 35. <laughs> That's as good as they can play. So, yeah. Um, Ananobi, 10, Hartenstein, 14, Brunson, 24, Hart, 21, DiVincenzo, 19. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Brunson did have eight assists. He hit the number. Mm. I'm sorry, no, he had six assists. He had eight rebounds. Um, Brunson had eight rebounds? Eight rebounds. Wow. Hart, yeah. ha, Hart had 21 and 15. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hartenstein, a solid 14 and 8. And, and an OB. Uh, Brunson only had six assists. Six assists, yeah. He had eight rebounds, six assists. Okay. Um, so, again, he didn't hit his number. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. He's got to be more of a facilitator because they're keying on him. And we knew this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, look, they're up 2-0. They're in a great spot. Okay. Um, I'd be working on ways to get him action away from the ball where the Knicks have to flush the help to that side because that's going to free up your slashers. Mm-hmm. And the Knicks will pay for that. If they, I mean, the, the Sixers will pay for that if they, if they do this because um, they're, 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 they're determined to not let Brunson beat them. And I get it, okay, but the Knicks can, can do this another way. They can't. They have enough to do. So we'll see what Yo, they do. This is kind of a surprise to me. What? What's a surprise? The Knicks only had seven turnovers. Yeah. That's and, good. and Philly did. only had 10. 
that's not bad given the no. not bad given what the way the that physicality yeah. and everything but I again mean, they're both used to this so the fact they're taking that good of care of the ball that's that's the credit to both of them so they're both just good teams both of them yeah I mean, look no one thought this was a two seven matchup it was more like a two three matchup yeah. is what people yeah. thought it was yeah okay that's so true. um and the other thing is like because because it's so physical everybody's tired mm -hmm. you know so like I don't know I'm getting a little annoyed at sloppy play and frustrated, but it's like it's a consequence of the. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's just it's going to happen. The, like the, the, these three teams, them and the Miami Heat's the other one. They make you play like this when you're that even. Yeah, and it just them. bogs down. Yeah. Like it's not going to be pretty. Yeah. No, it's Damn. not. It's going to be. Maxi Maxi had 35, mm -hmm. ten assists, ten assists, and nine rebounds. Yeah, he almost had a triple double. He can't play any better than that. Whew. He did and have four turnovers. With that, with that said, he crapped himself three yeah. times in that fourth quarter. Um, so as good as he played, even the moment was too big for him. Yeah. It was at that got time. got him a little bit there. Got him a little bit. So LeBron with Oubre the only had four points tonight. I thought he had ten points. No. Oh, Oubre for them. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah. of uh, your boy. OG. Uh, OG had ten, yeah, ten and four. Um, it was Brown. Yeah, Braun. It's Braun, not Brown. Braun. I thought you said it was Brown. It's pronounced that, but it's spelled Braun. I know. I always just say Braun, and you would always say it's no, Braun. No, we say we say, on this show it's Braun. Kyle well, Lowry, no Brown. more 19 points. Yeah. Eight points. Yeah, he played out of his tits. <laughs> he played he out of his tits. Really oh, my God. What kind of pass is that, you donkey? Um, LA 33, Denver 32, but that's about to change. No, it's not. Murray threw up a brick. Um, that LeBron block is still in his head, I think. Um, 832 to go in the second Murray quarter. Um, oh, d freaking D'Angelo. Did he hit one? Yeah, right in the guy's face. Uh, Dude, well, he's on, man. Yeah, he's, he's uh, on. He's tough. He's, pretty he's nice. got, and he's on five of five from the three. He, I'd say he's on. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say you know, he's, he's, he's kind of well. Look at that. <laughs> hey, man, when he's hitting his shots, he's hitting his shots. Yeah, you could be onto something. Yeah, I, you know that was great. Analysis. We're gonna keep an eye on that. He might. He All right, Knicks are Knicks are. I mean, Mets are on the verge of taking one on the bum in San Fran, but oh no, it's a tough. He took a second. Why would you do that again? Heat check. Don't do this. Ain't the regular season. There's no time for a heat check. Dude, take the best shot, not the quickest shot. Trap him. Trap him. Stop. Wow, they called that? The Mets are in the process of taking one on the bum. It's 4-0 in San Fran. What uh, End of the fourth. End of the fourth. They got time, but they got to start the climb right now. Yeah. They do. They definitely do. Um, by the way, the Red Sox uh, went into Pittsburgh over the weekend and swept swept the Pirates. Um, some great pitching performances. They got to the – hey, they're in third place. That's impressive in that division. <laughs> in that division, that's impressive. For so, any one of those teams. Yeah, that's a tough division. I mean, that's a wild card the, spot, the fifth, isn't it? The fifth, yeah, the fifth place team is above 500. <laughs> so it's, a, it's a, that good. And they're in third place right now. So kudos to, look, at, we all knew Alex Cora could man manage. Right now, he's literally, this is a magic trick right now. He's <laughs> this is a magic um, With this fucking, seriously, this is like David Copperfield right now. Um, <laughs> no one thought this pitching staff What the was fuck was that? That was a Oh, and you don't box out? <sighs> Come on, AD. They forced Jokic to throw up a brick just to beat the shot clock. He threw up no a one, like this. No one boxes out. And Lloyd Braun, again. Braun. It's Braun, America. Comes in and gets a lamp. Gets a, gets a, oh, a Anthony cherry Anthony Davis with a nice move. Yeah. Too bad they gave up two points. The other guy's a donkey. Yeah, that was... It's terrible. Mm. That's the kind of shit you can't give up against Denver. Yeah. No, you can't they, give yeah. them that crap. They got to play clean to beat them. Braun. Brick. Okay. Braun with a brick. Um, Denver shooting threes for no reason. Yeah, no reason. It's too early in the shot clock. Um, LeBron's got the ball uh, on Murray. Now Anthony Davis, who, by the way, dropped 32 and 13 on Jokic's head the other night. He wasn't the problem. <laughs> he did what he was supposed to do. It was Mr. James, who had seven turnovers. Oh, no, I'm sorry, pass. eight turnovers. He just threw one away again, the donkey. Um, the turnover. It was a good look, but he just threw a laser. <sighs> threw it like he was throwing through a fucking, Right, yeah. Like. I don't know. So, dude, you didn't need to throw it 60 throw mile an hour yeah, pass. Seriously. Um, but anyway, the Red Sox completed that sweep. They go into Cleveland. Tough you know, team. Who took three out of four from them in Fenway last week. Yeah, Cleveland's tough. Payback needs to be a bitch. Or a motherfucker. Or a mother both. Probably, you know, I think payback's a motherfucker, in my opinion. Mm. No? No, yeah, possibly. Um, so... LeBron's taking a seat right now. He should. He sucks. Um, it's 38-34. Yeah, he stinks. Yeah, that turnover was terrible. It was. Um, so, Jokic wide open. Then he gave it up. Spin move. Kicks out. 
What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. That was just pirouetted. That was one of those when you see those fat people in a tutu. That's what that looked like. (laughs) I'm like, why is that person spinning? Why do you see a fat person in a tutu? It's not, oh, I hate this guy. Michael, eat my A, Porter He Jr. does this every time. Michael, He doesn't do shit a. for every game, but then I watch him, he fucking looks like Larry Joe out there. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Um, well, you don't think Michael Porter's good? Not, he's only good when I see him play. <laughs> if I don't watch him, he's, yeah, he has 11 here. He goes like three for eight, you know, maybe a couple of rebounds, maybe a block. Yeah. Dude, AD with the I watch him, he gets a triple fade. double. AD's got all the moves. <laughs> that was beautiful. 14 points on six, five rebounds already. LA by three. That was poetry. But again, they, Murray with the pull up. Brick. Box Yoke him out. Pushing, pushing. Uh, uh, what? He was pushing AD in his back. I know, and then I caught it. But AD's got to get lower. Okay, what are you pulling in, Embiid? The agony. Of falling to the floor. Has seven. he ever been hurt? I don't know. Let's see what. This is the fadeaway. You get the bump there. Right <sighs> in his face. Yeah, that's a pretty fucking that's move. Pretty shot. And, uh, Give him the shoulder right to the chest yeah, and then spun yeah, right like, off. Get it. off me, dough boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he fades away. <laughs> um, uh. but, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, so. Oh, oh, there's Larry Jones. There's Larry Jones. Get the hell out. See, that wanted to go in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here comes Austin. I'm not Christopher I, Reeves. Yes. That's his nickname. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? D'Angelo Russell. <sighs> Pooping himself. That was a Maxi moment. And we're not talking about Maxi pads. No. We're talking, we're talking about, about Miralax Maxi. Miralax Maxi. The one and only Miralax Maxi. Right. Yeah. This isn't a sexist joke. No. This is a, uh, no. this is a bathroom joke. This is a Diarrhea Jones, the diaper of doom joke. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is yeah. a drive-by pooping. Diarrhea Jones versus Miralax Maxi. Who you drive got? Drive-by pooping. Who you got? It's like the ultimate shit fest. It um, was a pooping. A yeah. drive-by pooping. Oh, good play pooping. there. Five sixteen to go. LA clinging to a oh. three-point lead. That's got to run. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Mets trying to get off the Pete path. Alonzo with a solo shot. Oh, oh see that? Okay, okay. Oh, AD with a gorgeous jump hook in the lane over to over I don't think the Mets have shown me, like the Knicks. Brazilian. The fight. Yeah, Brazilian. And that's... Going into this year, that's what I wanted. To Offensive foul on the Nuggets. Oh, that's right. How about the Nuggets? What happened? He bum rushed Anthony Smith. Anthony Davis. Tried to bum rush. Anthony Smith. Where Anthony Davis. From? I don't know. I didn't mean well, to say. Watch this. Watch you guys. Look at this. Bum rushes him. Look, he hooks him. Then he hooks him again. Thank you, ref, for calling that shit. Oh, I thought Anthony Davis was hooking him. No, it was Caldwell Pope. He's not oh, a dirty he pool player. Oh, there's a f- Jokic to the face, but they don't call it because it's Jokic. Ooh. Oh, Pete in an ambulance. Nice. Single shot. Three-pointer. Yeah, solo shot. Watch him hit the ambulance. Boink. There's an ambulance in the bullpen. Bam! Oh, off the ambulance. Right off the ambulance. Off the ambulance. <laughs> Take that. There was a person inside. There's Somebody get that. an ambulance for the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> get the paddles. Get the paddles on. Seriously. Um, LA now has gone no up by pulse. eight. Eight in the second quarter. Um... See if they can take care of this. I really love to see the Lakers win tonight. This would really turn up everything upside down. Um, but uh, mm. anyway. Um, yeah, because it feels like if they don't, I mean, like you said, they could still get a couple in, in I think in they LA. still will, but they're not going to win four out of five. Right. It's just like, it they makes have, it so it's yeah, not possible if, if, for if, them if to win If they win series. game two, they have a chance. Yeah. That's it. They have a chance. Yeah. I'm not saying they don't win if they win tonight, but they have a chance. They don't win right. tonight, they have a chance. It just makes it so, interesting. Yeah, it like does. you said, if they win tonight, so, it, I mean, puts a little juice on it. It would. Like, All right. Well, Denver can't fuck around. No. And I didn't. Th- and again, LA's, LA's played well for the most part so far in six mm-hmm. quarters. They've only had a couple of hiccups, a um, couple of stupid things. LeBron seven turnovers the other night. Yeah. LeBron take care of the ball. What the fuck. Um, Similar to the two seven matchup mm-hmm. with the Knicks and the Sixers, mm-hmm. the Lakers are not your your average seven seed. Not. No, they're not. No. So I mean. They, they, for what it's worth, they went into Boston without James and, and Death Davis and beat the Celtics at full strength. <laughs> for what that's worth. That, that. <laughs> I know. There are certain things that just aren't believable. He, it's not believable, but then you see it. And then it happens. And then you wonder why I question that team. <laughs> right. No, and it makes me wonder why I picked them year yeah. after year. Yeah, because they do shit like that. They, they're, they were the first team to blow a 30-point lead and lose a game. It, previous was it that game? It was no. It wasn't. They the got game. boat racing that game. This was another it? game. 
It was another game. <laughs> was it the Hawks? It was the Hawks. Yeah, it was the Hawks. They blew a 30-point lead. And then they blew the next game, The, the previous, and they lose just, back. just for context, yeah, they had three days to get mad about it, and they lost to them again. Um, <laughs> this is how dumb they are. Um, the thing about it is, the was previous Trey, Trey Young even the play? previous 152 teams that were in that scenario didn't lose. <sighs> the previous 152 teams that were in that scenario didn't lose. That's okay. astonishing. Yes, that's it's absolutely astonishing. Every time I think they can. Let, yesterday, they're up 34 points at the end of the third quarter. With four minutes to go, oh. it's 13. Neighbor? Neighbor. Like a good neighbor? Like a good neighbor? Neighbor. Neighbor. I said neighbor. Oh, like a good neighbor. neighbor. That is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is right there. No, I mean, the way I just tried to imitate it, that was hard. No one could do Arnold. No one? Are you kidding me? Neighbor. He's probably one of the most imitated people. There was one guy who had the best impression of Neighbor. him. Neighbor. I forget his name, but Mark he goes. Good to the chopper. He goes, he goes, I can, can you picture Like Arnold, a good neighbor. Can you picture Arnold in the kitchen? Then throw it in the microwave and cook it for smelling. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he made it. the face. He goes, that's then. Not he it. That's not it either. <laughs> it's so idiotic. But it was funny because he made the face. Jizzle. He goes, then. <laughs> Jizzle. By Dio. Oh, my Have you God. seen those perfume commercials where they're like, Jizzle. The worst, by Dio. The worst one is Look. Johnny Depp with the wolves. Oh, God. I've made fun of him a million times for this. He walks out, he goes, in the wilderness. <laughs> Elixir. The new friend. <laughs> And you're just looking at him. He's the Johnny Depp is the biggest pussy on the face of the world. He's got a, he's got a guitar like he's the lead for Aerosmith. Oh man! He goes din din. He's like five seven, a buck oh five, and he looks like a chronic alcoholic. And he walks out. <laughs> the, the, he, he walks Christ. out with the wolves around him like think, he's the fucking. I don't think beast. most people would describe Johnny Depp the way you just did. Look at look at it. <laughs> look at it. You'll start laughing, going, "This guy's a pussy." What is he doing with all these wolves? <laughs> like acting like he's the beast master, like he's Aquaman, but on the land. Like I talk to the animals. Is he a pipsqueak? Yeah, he's a pipsqueak. He is. Yeah, he's a pipsqueak. Well, you know, in the movies, they can make somebody look eight feet tall. The movie? I'm, no, everybody looks bigger in the movies. Right, but he's not big at all. And they can make you look tough when you're soft. He's as not, fucking. He is not big at all. When you're so that's fucking and baby he shit. He goes, Savage. No, look so. My deal. <laughs> says it like that. You don't. It's Shadow. It's a, oh, deal. What a dog. See, when, at, least when Nat, at least when Natalie Portman does it, she's flirting with you. Okay. So. <laughs> she's fl- I don't know. She she's is, flirting with She's you. flirting with you. She's flirting with the guy in there. And, of course, we're all picturing it's us. But anyway, that's no, upset. I mean, um, because we're attracted to women, we, we appreciate when Natalie, Natalie Portman, Portman does it. Of course. Because she can pull it off. And Johnny Depp. Does Johnny it. Depp with a guitar and a bunch of wolves around. Sorry, him. Looks bro. like a donkey. Right. Very donkey. Just like, oh my god! Oh, wow, and, I see, it. even he blew it. LA with a chance to go up ten here. Don't rush. Take your time. The clock is your friend, and you've got a lead. Forty-seven thirty-nine right now, LA. Oh, drop it down, little mini, little Stepped mini. into it. Oh, little yeah. mini, no, little, little, little mini, little mini. So I love how he doesn't hesitate on a mid-range shot. If he it's is very a sick scorer. It, yeah, he's a scorer. Okay, um, LA up ten, three fourteen to go. Denver looks a little flustered right now. They don't. Ugh. Oh, let's let the one that guy. Rotation. Yeah, wide up, Border Junior again. You asshole, Larry Jones. Every fucking time. This fucking donkey doesn't do shit for sixty games, but the ten I watch, he goes off. <laughs> Yeah, he's got 14 points. He's shot, shooting four or five from the three. Larry Joe. Mm. Pulling a Larry Joe. They need him to hit some shit. Oh my God. Don't let them close points. the quarter on a run. That's right. Don't let them do it. To steal that. Right, Threw it away. Good this day. way, this way. Nice. Got to stop. Don't let Denver get any momentum here. Dude, any one, momentum. One thing I saw them do on that play where AD hit the, the, the pull-up mid-range Mm. So they, they were trying to push, and then they pulled it back because it wasn't there. Yeah. In the first half of the Knicks game, because there's such an emphasis to push the ball, yeah. there were times where they would push it, and they didn't have anything once they got down there. Yeah. And they needed to pull back, mm-hmm. but they would just run like without a purpose right at the hole, mm-hmm. and Embiid would stuff them, or whoever was there would just stuff them. Great pass by LeBron inside Davis. But you know what uh, I mean? They, yeah. were, they were breaking and not realizing, okay, if it's not there, pull back. Yeah. If it's there, take it all the way. 
What was that? There was that. There was that. Um, that hippo in the tights again. Um, <laughs> that's what was the Disney. The hippos he's, in the in the, the tulip. He looks like. A, actually, you know what he is? They did the commercial for uh, Despicable. He's not me. even overweight. He, he looks like Despicable Me for that guy. He looks Look, like he a, dressed up like. Him. Yeah, it was pretty funny. He did that on purpose. I was good. Yeah, I liked. It was hilarious. It was a funny commercial. Um, anyway, oh, it was a commercial. Yeah, it was a commercial preview for uh, Despicable Me. Yeah. By the way, we're going to see that. We're taking all the kids to the drive-in to see Despicable Me Four. Are we really? We should do that. I think we saw it already. It hasn't come out yet. yet. Yeah, it has. No, it hasn't. What Despicable Me Four Three was the one that came out. This is four. No, we just saw something. Yeah, it was the the panda thing. Oh, Kung Fu Panda, panda Four. Panda 4. Okay, all which right, you go. said right. was awful. I didn't love it. Uh, like the first three that you said. Yeah. See, it's hard to keep that going. I know. A fourth one? Fourth one's tough. Like, I think the third one was questionable. Try to think of a fourth one that was ever good. Star Trek IV. Rocky four. No. That Wasn't was that Drago? The, that was the second worst Rocky was movie that Drago? ever made. Yeah. It was the second worst Rocky movie Are ever. Are you kidding me? One Rocky of the most movie. famous villains ever. No. Rocky ruins it in Russia when the Russians start chanting for Rocky. That's when it went beyond unbelievable into fucking total bullshit. <laughs> It I mean, went from it went from unbelievable to do you actually think dude, it was ever already that? unbelievable uh, bullshit know, from the jump? I know, I know, it's terrible. Uh, I mean, the fact that they, he beat they honestly Apollo should, they should have quit after Rocky. The too. fact that he beat Apollo, but Mr. T was kind of cool. Break. I like Mr. T because you know what, Mr. That, T was his size. Well, that was the same one that Hulk Hogan was in too, right? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. But they should have quit. There. But they're all ridiculous. Mickey, Mickey dies. Right. Quit right there. Quit. Dude, they're all ridiculous. Now we're going to kill right. Apollo. They come back at five and Adrian dies. Dude, and he fucking to, dies. He had to beat the Russian. I mean, that was good. I thought that was the last good one. Remember now what Drago said. Then when I was a it's kid, I liked the, the Tommy Gunn one. They have to watch the bus. When I was a kid, I liked the Tommy Gunn one. Oh, God. The Nobody subtitle knows. was, he's not human. He's like a piece of iron. <laughs> Who said that? Drago about Rocky. Okay. After Rocky put him down. <laughs> yeah, like Rocky would have put him down. Uh-oh, one-on-one. -on -one. Then you got... Oh, oh what do you got Don't take that, Caldwell Pope, wow. you donkey. Caldwell Pope is a donkey. I can't he stand it. He tried to it. wrap LeBron up, yeah. but he didn't. LeBron really actually did made a man. That was pretty awesome. He pulled him down right. He knew it was coming. Him. Yeah. AD grabs a rebound. Good yeah. rebound. Actually, LeBron blocked that. He blocked us. Oh, and then and then took off. Look at this. Like, yeah, I'm so strong. I am too strong. That was a pretend. How I'm strong are you? Too strong. too strong. I am too strong. That was LeBron being too strong. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so he and blocked That wasn't it. his guy. Yeah, it was Murray. He blocks Murray again. Poor Murray. <laughs> he grabbed the jersey, just, too. Sh he grabbed the jersey. That was like when Murray grabbed Bird's thought. jersey. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he was going for the ball. Then. No, not at all. I am too strong. How strong? Too strong. Top six all of a sudden in the Mets game. Hmm. Four to one. Four to one. Still time, but yeah. might need to make a move. Nimmo's up. Make the free Top throw. Of the order, but LA up 12 with 118 to go. In two there. outs. A nice two out rally. Bases empty two out rally would be nice here. It would be. Might give a little punch to him. Get him going. Give him a little nick. They're going juice. to Jokic. Right now, LeBron is on Jokic. They switched oh, it up. Right by him. He tried to pass Bad it in. Pass. Oh, look at it. What a great defensive play yep. by Davis. LA flirting with a 14 point lead. Maybe. They need to finish this half. Yeah, they strong. do. You got to put them in, put yeah. them in the vice grip. Yep. Put the pressure on Put them in the vice right grip. Now. They don't have the bench. That's Lloyd Braun. LeBron, shit on yep. Lloyd Braun. Take him down. Shit on Lloyd Braun right now. No, no, no. Oh, Give it back. Lucky that Oh, the white a guy. Stone. Yeah, the Of course stiff. he bricked it. Fucking Reeves, Austin. Austin, I'm not Christopher Reeves. Yeah, I'm not Larry Bird. I think that's a pretty good nickname. I'm Austin, not. I'm not Christopher Reeves. He's not. He's not Superman. No. He's super stiff. <laughs> oh, Murray with the head fake. Bring Boy, it in. Give oh, it I hate Lloyd. him. Thank you, Lloyd Braun. That was a brick from the jump. Go. Don't fuck it up, oh, Reeves. You got one-on-one. -on -one. Don't, Don't fuck this up, that. Reeves. He's going to fuck it up. He's, He's going to fuck it up. Get it out of his hands. Yeah. AD, get low again. What LA. Are guys, what are we doing? Milking it. Oh, they're, they're holding it. it. Okay. Holding it out. Clock is our friend. Oh, he's going for the three. Oh! oh. oh. Gutsy three. By L.A. Andrew by Russell. 15. Do not let him shoot the ball. Get out Double him right now. Don't let this idiot shoot. No, not again. He got in his face. Thank God he bricked it. Oh, they got Four time. seconds. Get a shot. Pull it. Oh. Like he could have got a better shot than in. No. All right. No two-out rally. Well, L.A. Just shit himself. L.A. 
59. What a half. Denver, 44. <laughs> Boy. That giggle smoke is looking pretty sharp right about now. Um, what was the giggle smoke? Just that LA was going to make this, was going to push these guys. I think it's safe to say they're pushing them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the push is in. You're mm. taking a victory lap for a for a LA's going to push them. If they win six, most people have Denver in five or a sweep. No, no, I agree. That's a good call, yeah. but you can't take a victory lap on them pushing them. If they win this game, they can win the series. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I will happily eat this prediction if they do. Okay, because I'm not scared of LA at all. That we, you don't think that's going to happen, though? No, but if they win this game, I mean, it's it's mathematically possible. No, yeah, of course, it's realistically possible. Yeah, it's and more by, than mathematically. Possible. And by the way, and by the way, what what's this going to do to Denver? If they get, if they move on, if they, they, not if get they, if they lose this, if they lose this game tonight, Denver's got to be looking in the mirror, going, "What the fuck? We couldn't beat San Antonio. Now we can't, we can't beat these guys at home. What's going on?" The questions, the questions, the doubt creeps in. So anyway, well, I mean, and then even if they, I'm sorry if you said this, but even if they do overcome this and they win in six, it wasn't an easy series. No, and now they go into the next series. By the way, you know, it could tired. be it could be Minnesota. A healthy Minnesota waiting for them. Well, based on what happened, I think Minnesota's going to take it. Yeah, out. it didn't seem yeah. like there was much. Um, much by fight. the way, we didn't. We missed that series. We, we never did, picked. We it? didn't pick that one. No, yes, we did. Did we? Yeah, because I remember saying I'm going to go with Ant. Oh, that's and right. You said the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought it would go six, though. I think I'm. I don't know what I said. I thought it would go six because Phoenix took the the season series three, but now Cat was back. Mm-hmm. So I thought it would go six. I had the Clippers in seven over Dallas. That was the other one I took. I, did I have the Clippers? You did. The only one I think they we, surprised the shit. The out only of one I think you and I disagreed on Orlando was Orlando Cleveland. I think the rest of them we were. And all it the same. appears you're going to be right on that one. Did I say Orlando to win? So I'll tell you a couple players I've underestimated so far. Donovan Mitchell. Okay, and I know you said it. I get it. I'm not. <clears throat> but obviously, I was biased for my for my experience with the Knicks against them. And See, you said the Knicks are better than the I Magic. said you underestimated the Knicks. Right, right you acted right. like well, anybody can. No, no, the Knicks yeah. did that to them. Yeah, not a lot of teams going to do them what the Knicks did. And that's right. what I was trying to say. Yeah, no, and, uh, I, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm giving you your yeah, due. So, um, and I just said that. Yeah. Um, and then the other person I underestimated was Dame Lillard. Be- well, because I forgot that. He's won playoff series before. By himself. By himself. Yeah. Um, and he's on a good team. Here's the thing, though. And, again, it's one game. I know. Um, and but I, kinda, I gave them no uh, shot. Uh, well, the thing is this. How, from what I'm being, here's the thing that nobody, I didn't know. They're saying Halliburton's still not right. He's not right. He's not right. I heard somebody say that about um, his minutes. I didn't know that. I thought I knew he was on a minutes thing when he first came back, but I thought he'd worked that out. I think they Apparently, said he played 30 minutes last night. Yeah, but he, t- he took 37 minutes. He took seven shots in 37 minutes. Oh, wow. He's got to shoot more. That's what he's there for. He's got to shoot more. What else seven is he shots? And th- well, that tells me he's not right. Yeah, you can't. Seven play. shots in thirty-seven. Man, that makes no sense. Well, I mean, Miami, no, Milwaukee's not a good defensive team. Yeah, because <laughs> so when he came, sorry, when, when he came back from his injury, I think he went on like a month-long drought with three pointers. Yeah, and and they talked a lot about it with like I heard him in an interview saying like I've never been in this kind of slump in my life. That's probably he health. He doesn't look like That's he, probably hell. He doesn't look right. But I watched part of that game. He doesn't look like himself. Yeah, I did. He, he is a freaking, he's like, he's like Edelman. <laughs> like that. He's a squirrel. He's fucking all over the place. He's, he, just, he sets the pace. Mm. He literally is the pace car for the Pacers. Yeah. And then it's always 100 miles an hour. He doesn't look like that right now. Yeah. He doesn't look like that right now. And I don't know what's going on with him because <clears> he came back and he's been playing. I mean, how long does it take to – what the fuck happened in that he what can't – What was his injury? I don't remember, but he was up for a while. Shoulder? They, they had him on a minutes restriction. I get that for the first, you know, five games. So, okay, fine. And I just stopped paying attention. But they they, they won. They kept winning. And oh, we should turn this Do up. you mind if we can we yeah. listen to this? Because I want to hear what they say about the Knicks. Um, um, we are watching TNT. Shaq, Kenny mm-hmm. – E D J, I mean Ernie. Is All right, here we go. I wanna I wanna hear what they say. Mm-hmm. Alright, listen to this. At the garden in New York, 106, a 10196 to score. Knicks down with 30 seconds to play in the game, and Jalen Brunson who has really struggled for That was a crazy sequence too. That was. 
Because Brunson almost gave the ball up. Boop, boop, boop. Call time out. Bathroom break. This play. Isaiah Hartenstein with the offensive rebound and Dante bang another chance and buries it. See so he said bang. I want to go back and see if Nick Nurse called timeout. He did. I saw him doing it. But it was when it was when Maxi fell. Yeah. Over the Sixers, unbelievable. Yeah, this is a devastating loss for my Sixers, man. Um, you know, Buck was such a homer picking the Sixers to win that series. Oh, look at the Charles Parker James. Yeah. Oh, if I had known that, I'd, I'd have picked uh, New York in a sweep. Where would Charles pick to win losers? Pretty much. Yeah. When Hart was ripping it from him, he was hard. Yeah, you're not kidding. Because uh, yeah, you can take the ball to half court. That's what I would have did. And I know obviously uh, hindsight Done. is whatever. But when he made that three, it's a one possession game. You at least make them have <laughs> to go the full length of the court. You call timeout immediately. Uh, Maxi had 35 for Philadelphia in a losing effort. Embiid, 34, 11, and 6. Here was Joel after the game. <laughs> Unacceptable. Um, I mean, Tyrese got fouled, you know, a couple of times. You know, we we just had the same thing happen against Miami with Tyler. You know, that's just unacceptable to Shut the fuck you know, up. Know, that's in that situation. Um, you know, that's yeah, that's unacceptable uh, to lose a game like this, especially in the playoffs. So, I mean, yeah. Maxi did not get fouled. This motherfucker is blaming think? the refs. You guys have been set aside if you thought it was a foul. Did you think you guys have gotten a timeout in? Like, Yes, we did. I mean, everybody on the floor was trying to call a timeout, myself included, Nico, coach on the sideline. Um, I gotta go look back at to us, but you know, forget about the timeout. There's a bunch of fouls. You know, that's yeah, like I said, that's unacceptable. Sour grapes. Shaq, your thoughts. Whether he got fouled or not, you have to hold on to the ball and secure the ball. You know, they always tell you when, when you're in pressure situations, never bring the ball on the side. Did he get fouled? Yes, that's very, very subjective. But when you're on the road, you can't be flailing and flopping around. You got a series here right here? Well, not right here. <clears throat> but anyway, the, like, you know, forget the fact. Actually, yeah, right here. Like, right here. Out right now. Like right here. Watch this, Ernie. <clears throat> right now. Right he pushes right. off. Brunson grabbed him a little bit. He grabbed him a little bit. But he, but he flopped yeah. instead of going for the ball. Yeah. To have the confidence to come back in there, that suck one, that tells me he's like, hey, I ain't afraid of anything. And mm -hmm. Stein, no, too, that's with the offensive that, that, That's a great read, but I'm saying, saying too. when a guy well, missed, yeah. when, when did DiVincenzo miss a wide on three and then gets it right back and don't even hesitate? Because a lot <laughs> yeah. of guys want to take that it. situation. Sure. That's why he but, made hey, it. When you get the ball on the side, you can't be flailing and flopping around, you know, looking for the bailout call. Did he get fouled? Maybe, but still, you can't be, you got to get it and hold it. But yeah. you make the, the, wor the worst thing that you should, should happen. It, you know, it's just basketball. It's a game of mistakes. But the worst thing should happen is a jump ball when mm -hmm. they tie you yeah. up. Yeah. You shouldn't lose the ball in those yeah. situations. It's just right on that. Yeah. It's basketball habits. But I, the only thing about the timeout, Chuck, also, it gives the defense an opportunity to set up if you're the other team. So you, you're waiting to yeah, see. Yeah, but they probably still got the fire. They're waiting to see. Well, but but the, the, the last part of it is Hartenstein, let, time. Let me, his energy to say, I want to get us an extra possession was the difference. Yeah. If but he I, doesn't get the extra possessions, you never win the game. But what I'd like to see from Joel, he got to get his head up. Because he's the leader of the team. He's the best player. He's one of the best players in the world. If your best player got his head down like that, he can say it, it's <laughs> unacceptable, it's unacceptable. We just got to come out and win game three. We got to take it one game he at a time. He was saying the refs As were the unacceptable. As leader of the team, he cannot yeah. have his head down. He's got to say, guys, he's blaming the refs. we're fine. Yeah. This isn't about his head down. down. By the way, Joel, I'm taking accountability. Joel, that's what losers do. Losers. Oh, his head is not down. He's blaming people. I'd say it's whatever. Soccer team. Whatever. I'd say it's whatever. I love when they do that to him. He does it to himself. Hindsight is whatever. I know, but the fact that going... Anyway, right, right, right. I got to pay now. <laughs>
Nobody now pee. he's gonna pee. Um, oh, man. Anyway, hindsight is whatever. Oh, Socrates. Joel, like um, Joel and B though, really, the refs did it. Really, it wasn't it wasn't you guys fumbling around and fucking up and looking like a monkey fucking a football out there in the last two minutes. Um, you had a five point lead. If Lowry makes the free throw, you're six. Worst case scenario, you go to overtime. If the worst case scenario happens. So it starts with a missed free throw, fundamental mistake number one, okay? Then you come down. Look, Brunson gets a good bounce. It was a contested shot. That's not your fault. But that whole thing about inbounding plays, first of all, here's the problem. These are the best basketball players in the world, okay? When I was in high school, we used to practice situations like this. We were in high school. Are you telling me that these guys in their walkthroughs don't practice, okay, 20 seconds to go or to up to with the ball? What do we do? And by the way, if they're not doing that, that's on the coach because my coach was doing that shit for me and my guys in high school. And we just never understood why, but he was always talking about just situational stuff. And we, we did three different situations every day in practice. Every day in practice. So we at the end of the week, you've you've done, you've worked on, you know, you know, down four, you know, 30 seconds to go, they got the ball. You foul them, you get them one and one, you come down, you try and get three, and you try and, literally, this is what we would do in high school. And Philadelphia with the, with the pros, these guys shouldn't have had to do that. They shouldn't have had to do that. So while he's screaming, call timeout, my question for you, Coach Nurse, is why weren't you doing with your best players in the world what my high school coach was doing with me three different times every practice during the week? I'm talking about situational basketball. Mm-hmm. And my coach, I, when I was a freshman, I didn't get it. By the time I was, I was like, oh, because actually a few of them actually happened. But we would do three different scenarios every, every practice. And what are you doing? Keep talking. I'm getting a soda. I would have got you a soda. I know. I didn't um, want to interrupt you. I'm so anyway. I ended up interrupting you. Anyway. Yeah, you're famous for that. But anyway, look no, at I tried not to. And, I did. Oh, Jesus. And yet he continues. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Thing? Drops this. Fucking breaks that. Phantom. My brand new, yeah. Breaks my brand new weed whack. Dude, I opened hope, the fridge. Hope the, jumped at hope me. the soda was worth it. Anyway. So. <laughs> Anyway, hey, I was with you on that shopping trip. Do, you wouldn't have found that if it wasn't you, for me. We used to do three different, three different scenarios every practice. Okay, you get the ball. You're up six, two minutes to go. Mm-hmm. Or they get the ball. They're down. You know, you're down five, two minutes, well, one minute, whatever. And mm-hmm. we play. And we called our own timeouts. And we would call the plays ourselves, the team, like we were going to do in this situation. Foul one, get him in one on one, and we come down. We're going to get a, try and get a quick three up, and then call a timeout. Like, and we would we would play, and the coaches would just ref. Mm-hmm. And we did that in high school. So if we're doing that, what the fuck? Why does why does these professional athletes have to call a timeout? You should know what to do. Yeah. I mean, both these guys have been in the playoffs, Maxi and MB. They were in a seven game thriller with Boston last year. They've been in, they should know what you have to call timeout now? What are you fucking fresh was the JV team again? Well, Barkley's saying he would have called timeout because if you call timeout right then, you can advance the ball. And you don't is, have to try to go the well, full Well, then why isn't, why isn't Maxie calling timeout? Why isn't Maxie with the ball? I'm not actually, the guy taking it out, why is he looking well, at the and, ref calling timeout? Nurse wasn't doing it either. Uh, well, nurse not, actually, at that, not at that point. Not at that point, but why? Nurse again, is going like why this. Isn't, why isn't the guy taking the ball out calling for a timeout? Yeah, because they don't know what to do. Because they don't know what to do. Yeah. That's poor coaching. Yeah. That's poor coaching. And I have a Hall of Fame high school ba- basketball coach who used to do this shit to us in practice. So we didn't have to call a timeout in situations like that. We knew what to do. We were in situations yeah. like it. So in any event, there's that, Mr. Nurse. I tried to call a timeout. The ref didn't see me. And Joel B, these refs are unacceptable. It costs us the game. The same thing happened against Tyler Hero. A bunch of, you know, he fouls us, no foul. And I'm like, wow. You wonder why you don't win, Joel? Because the second you lose, instead of looking in the mirror, what you didn't do fundamentally down that down the stretch from the missed free throw by Lowry to all, you, you, it's all about the refs, huh? Did the ref miss the free throw? No. Okay. The refs not box out, allowing Hart and Cena to get that offensive rebound. No, that was you. Mm-hmm. That was all you. So before you point the finger at the refs, look in the mirror. And by the way, until he does this, they're never going to win. Mm-hmm. They're never going to win. And yeah. if you think I'm nuts, I've seen a lot of MVPs do this shit. James mm-hmm. Harden. Okay, comes to mind the most recent one. Okay, so if all it's always about what everybody did didn't do for you to help you out, then that's why you lose because you're the common denominator. What aren't you doing? Why 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 are the refs even coming into play? Yeah, you had a yeah that's, you had a five point yeah. lead with a minute and eighteen seconds to go. Yeah, like what, well, how does this even come down to this? Should have won that game. You should have won that game. Yeah. Now it's the refs' fault. No, you fucked up on consecutive possessions, and that's why they, you put the you put yourself in that situation. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they didn't finish. They didn't, they finish. didn't finish the game. No. So don't as blame, simple as that. Don't blame the refs. Don't blame yeah. the, you know, that's crap. I can't stand that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like, so as a Nick fan, 
I can look back and admit, sure, there was calls that could have been made, yeah. but there was no call that was impactful enough that the guy should have lost the ball. I I will say that. You know, Maxi got a hand on his hip. You got to squeeze it. As, as yeah. Kenny Smith said, worst case scenario, it's a jump ball. And like Shaq said, yeah. he was flailing, looking yeah. for a looking call for a bail on the call. road yeah. in a playoff game. Yeah. Yeah. Madison Square Garden, Nobody want, no ref wants to make a ticky-tack foul call on that inbound right there, no. especially when you throw the ball up in the air. Yeah, they'll get killed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll get killed. Are you kidding me? Yeah, if you had robbed us of that moment with that call. With that crowd. Yikes. Yeah, I was just... Wouldn't have looked good. Wouldn't have looked good. You might have been killed right there on the floor. <laughs> um, Just sacrifice. In any, any event, um, the Knicks are up 2-0. <laughs> so Man, we, are, we are at halftime. Um, I'm loving this playoff so far. Well, yeah, you should be. Um, and I haven't hit any adversity it's, it's been a, it's been a No, it, it, those, you kidding me? You were just down five. I, mean, that, I call that well, adversity. It, in game, I have. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen Brunson hasn't played well yet. I'd say you face some adversity. Um, so, I just meant because we're up 2-0. Yeah. But yes, I mean, you're right. I got news you. Philly's not going to quit, and I, and I think they're going to win. I got news you. Don't be surprised if Philly wins game three and four in similar fashion. I think all of these games are going to be nip and tuck. I think I, all I, of them are. So I actually think Brunson needs to be away. I, w- I you might be right. I wish it was further away. Farther you, away. You might be right. There, there is something he wrote this letter to all the fans, like a, a tribute, a thank you letter. Yeah, basically, you know, a thank you, um, which was classic. It was great. It was a good thing to do. But, yeah. but I think he wants to, he wants to do it so bad for everybody that's supporting him. Mm-hmm. He's got to relax. And I know it's a complete projection onto him because I really don't know what he's thinking. But man. I, well, it just looks to me like he's forcing. Yeah, he's he looks different. Yeah, and, and, and I let the game. Get, yeah, and again, this is where the coach has to his point. The coach needs to step in over the next couple of days, help him get, out. and put in some sets where he's off the ball, and free up other guys where he's because they're chasing him everywhere. Yeah, listen, Philly's defensive it's scheme brutal. is very simple. It's Whatever brutal. you switch, you switch and double. Yeah, Jalen Brunson is not going to beat us. It's that simple. Yeah, and by the way, that's okay. He doesn't have to. Mm-mm. Just Which has been proven. Facilitate the ball. Jason Tatum yesterday, 23 points, 10 assists. That's all he needs to do. Facilitate. The, the whole defense was double. Everywhere Jaden went, double team, double team, double team, double team. And he gave the ball up. Yeah. And everybody's like, well, he's not shooting well. Like, he's got 10 <clears> fucking <throat> assists. Mm-hmm. He's doing his job. Right. Okay, he had his first triple-double, and that was awesome. And they won going away. Yeah. In fact, they fell asleep for eight minutes and still won going away. Yeah. So the thing is, he did. this is what Jalen Brunson's got to do. Yeah. And he's got guys enough guys around him where he can do it. Got to trust him. Especially his Villanova guys. They've won a champion. He knows these guys can deliver. Yeah. Are we really? Well, they just did. Yeah, DiVincenzo. Hart did in the yeah. first half, and, and then DiVincenzo at the end. Brunson, of all people, should not be surprised. No. He knows these two. Yeah. He knows them better than anybody. So they've won. They've got a, they've got a championship together. He knows. He can count on them. And the quicker so. he starts... Getting more comfortable facilitating, the quicker he's going to get better shots. Oh, LA jumps out. Wow. To six, it's 18. Keep pushing, LA. Don't take your foot. And don't off even the gas. think about it. Um, don't stay take aggressive. Your foot off. That's too easy. That's too, come on. Yeah, that's come too on, easy. You right there. You can't let him walk in like that. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh, he's going to lose. <laughs> what is that? It's talking about. I don't know. Some TV show on Max. I don't know. Move the empty coat. Soda can out of the way. Um, oh, that was a brick. Brick by James, who got the guy going for the layup, and now here comes Denver with the ball down. 16. 10.58 to go. It's plenty of time. Um, that's too easy. <clears throat> the Mets are threatening. Back-to-back layups. You can't do that. Can't do that's that. a threatening. Anyway, that's going to do it for our show tonight. Um, we will return on Wednesday. NFL draft preview. And we'll update you on the Mets and Red Sox right now. Currently, as we kind of, it's five to one. San Fran in what inning? Top of the seventh. Top Mets of the seventh. are threatening with nobody out, two on, and Alonzo at the plate. Now keep your keep your, your fingers crossed there for the Mets. Those of you in the New York and the tri-state area. Ah, anyway, good um, we will see you guys on Wednesday night. Enjoy tipping back Tuesday. Wet my whistle Wednesday. We will resume. Until then, peace, love, and. Happiness. Pete popped out. That too.